was his son, even though he, he wouldn't let pussy and nothing in it, she could have been already pregnant already. Pregnant by somebody close to Gauzu or whatever. Gauzu wasn't white. Because if he was white, he would have, uh, it would have been mentioned. These were black folks used to seeing black folks, all right? So if, if, if Gauzu was other than black, it would have been mentioned. Just like the, 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 uh, Z Ziadra, uh, Ziazutra was white. M made the point. Look, this is a white baby, blonde hair, blue eyes. This is something that we not used to seeing. You know? So, the thing about it is, it was a setup. It was a setup. Gals who knew that if he can convince Inky that, hey, that's your baby, Ziazudro, or Ziazudro, will have protection automatically. You be, he would have been saved, okay? Saved. And that's what happened. He got saved. Saved from the flood. See, there was a lot of shit going on during that time. Even the Anunnaki didn't know about. The Anunnaki was being watched also. Okay? By who? I don't know exactly. But what I suspect is, is, is the race of rep, uh, reptilian beings that I talked about. Okay? So let me tell you about the reptile. You motherfuckers are sneaky. Alright? All of them. Okay? You can have a fucking snake in your house right now. And that bastard gonna listen to every footstep that you make. You wouldn't even know that it's there. That fucking bastard gonna listen and spell everything that you do. It's going to learn everything about you as far as your habits and your movements. And that's how fucking reptiles operate. So those reptiles, they're already, when the Anunnaki came, they have been watching them for a long ass time. Okay? And probably interacting with them uh, 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 through shape shifting and shit. Okay? Through shape shifting. See, we don't know how many senses the Anunnaki had? We don't know. 100%. But we have five senses, okay? Present day man, average present day man have five senses, okay? In the beginning of the lost book of Inky, when Alalu, some people say Alalu, I say Alalu, when Alalu came here, this is a king that was on Negro. Seen lots of shit, okay? Had access to damn near every fucking thing on Nero. Okay? Seen lots of shit. But never saw a goddamn snake when he came here. He blew a fucking snake's head off when he came here because the damn snake hissed at him when he went to the water to go when he went to the river to go get a drink of fucking water. It's like what the fuck is this? Cause he ain't never seen no goddamn snake. So if he never seen just a serpent, okay, just a regular ground serpent, more than likely the Anunnaki had no knowledge of, of reptilian beings walking, uh, walked bipedal walking reptilian beings on the earth, well under the earth anyway, okay, shape shifting and shit. They had no knowledge to them what, uh, about them whatsoever. Like I said, you got to really read the story to really understand. Like I said, I have the RH negative blood. A lot of this shit is just within me to understand. Okay? It's just within me. I feel like that I'm in the fucking story when I read it. By some of the shit that the Anunnaki do, because I would have done the same fucking thing. Some of them, anyway. I would have done some of the same shit. All right, certain things your DNA just—you can't help. You cannot help. All right, certain decisions that you make, you can't fucking help because that's hard coded in your DNA. And in order to change it, you have to change your goddamn DNA. That 
This is like a damn leopard trying to change its own spot. It ain't gonna happen. It's not. It is not gonna happen. Only through DNA, the manipulation of DNA. Okay? So the Anunnaki had a lot of issues, okay? As powerful and as smart as they were, they were still vulnerable. It wasn't until the end they figured it out, okay? Even they Lil said, we are fucking slaves on this damn planet. He, he figured it out. He came out and said it. We fucking slaves on this planet. And look how long it took for them to figure that shit out. They figured out already. By that time they figured out, we didn't been had. This goddamn guys who come in here lying and shit, talking about we go back to legal room. We gonna die. God damn it, did Gilgamesh go back? Gilgamesh went to the Nibiru and stayed and lived. All right? Gilgamesh had a clone. If the Gilgamesh that was here that died wasn't the real Gilgamesh. The Gilgamesh, the real Gilgamesh, left and went to Nibiru. The clone stayed here with Enkidu. All right? So you gotta pay attention to the story. You gotta pay attention to the story. You white folks don't believe that Ziedra, uh, Zia Zutra or whatever was white. Okay? Now I, I know it sounds kind of crazy. But you gotta understand there's a lot of people in modern day society right now that appear to be white, but they ain't white. They're not white. Let me give you an example. Colin Powell. Hmm? Colin Powell white? Just ask yourself that. Is, my, is Mariah Carey white? Hmm? Is Vin Diesel white? Do you, if you don't believe, go and look at, uh, go to YouTube and type in Vin Diesel breakdance and you tell me if he looked white to you back in the 80s. Tell me that. Or would you consider to be for him to be black or Hispanic? Okay? So that's why I say you can't really go by color all the time. Some people say Tom Jones is black. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just telling you what's questionable if you consider Vin Diesel to be white. If you consider Colin Powell to be white. If you consider Mariah Carey to be white. Okay? But if you believe that they're white, it was other white people telling you they were white. It wasn't really no black folks in the mainstream telling you they was white. Let me give you white folks an example. Uh, how white, how, how white mainstream be fucking with your head. Okay? See, I'm black in America. I, I can see through the bullshit. Just because I'm black don't necessarily mean I'm just going to go along with certain things, even within the black community. Bullshit is bullshit, okay? I don't give a fuck if you white or black. Don't come at me with no bullshit. All right? You white folks, you know, be suckered in the shit, believing shit because another white person said. Okay? Or some fucking expert with a goddamn degree get on TV and say this and say that or whatever the fuck he paid. I'm trying to sell some goddamn books or something. Just, look, I ain't got nothing to gain by lying to you. Okay? Let me give you an example. How a lot of you white folks been duped and shit. Um, you know that damn song, "My Country Tis of the Sweet Land of Liberty." I want you white folks, okay? You white patriots, to go and listen to "God Save the Queen." You can't tell me that that song did not come from "God Save the Queen." 
All right. You can't tell me that. But that's just, that's that's just one instance that you've been lied to. Okay. That song represents your freedom. Supposedly, anyway, but God damn it, it came from God saved the queen. All right? God saved the queen. The queen was the reason why y'all bought y'all asses over here. Okay? To get away from the goddamn tyranny. And you singing a, a song that's that derived from God saved the queen? You white folks would be pissed off about that. You say, God saved the queen for me putting my foot in her ass. Alright? That's what you white folks, that's what you should have, the mentality you should have. Sing that goddamn song. My country, tens of thee, sweet land of liberty. Liberty. And you let the, the, the goddamn song came from God saved the queen. I'm telling you, all it is is just a watered down version of God saved the queen. Listen to it. Like I said, I ain't got no reason to lie to you. Shit. I'm not gaining by lying to you. All, there, all the rest of them motherfuckers might be gaining by lying to you, trying to sell some books or get for visiting or some shit like that. I'm giving it to you raw. And really and truly, it should be a white person telling you this shit. This is a black person telling you, so I'll tell you something right there. You white folks need to wake up. I said it, I said it before, you need to wake the fuck up. Wake up. You really want to be free? You better start opening your eyes to bullshit. Okay? Open your eyes to the bullshit. Now back on this last book of Inky. Okay? When Inky decided to 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 write this shit well have one of his so-called servants write it down okay which was somebody from his bloodline something happened he says time for me to tell humanity the truth When somebody come with, with something like that, that means either you done lost control or either you going away. You leaving. And you want to leave the truth behind. Inky was the only one that came forward and said, this is what really happened. This is what really happened. I don't believe you told it all. Not all of it. But he told a lot. Even some of the most gruesome shit, okay? He told it. And the thing about it is, it's, we should all benefit from it by knowing the truth. Okay? We should all benefit from it. Whether you're black or white, you should know it. Accept it and move on. To try to better yourself and better your, your children by accepting the truth. Because that's the only way you'll be able to move forward. You can't move forward on some lies. You can't. That's why we have a fucking economic crisis right now because of uh, 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 fucking fake ass money. Money that ain't backed up by nothing but a goddamn promise. Okay? If it was backed by something, we wouldn't have the problems that we have. See, there ain't no righteousness in, in the system. If they ain't got no fucking righteousness in the system, it ain't gonna go far. It's not. That's like building a fucking house on sand. So you white folks better wake up. You black folks better wake up. You better wake up because you, you can't ignore the path that we going down. I don't care how much antidepressants you can take or whatever. It ain't go the problem ain't gonna go away. If you stick your head in the ground, the problem ain't gonna go away. You might not see it, but it ain't gonna go away. It's not. And um 
you know, the, the, 